Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to my peoples and my guys, look alive, look alive. It's your boy, Ak Reacher, with another episode of the Jab Jamboree, produced by the LDBC, executive produced by the Four Berserker Clan. Uh, let's get into it. Um, okay, so it seems to be another fight that I couldn't remember about that we got around 9 o'clock tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, at least my time. So... I'm basically going to drop my pickums video because, like I said, I didn't have enough time. This is just in case the brothers aren't sure about my answer and stuff like that. And uh, you know how we all do the pickums. Uh, we have a main event, which isn't for a title, with uh, Chocolatito Roman Gonzalez versus Julio Cesar Martinez. Um, salute, son of Tank. Um, I mean, I would send my brothers a link, but I don't plan on being on this this long. If one of them come on while I'm spilling or whatever, then uh, it is what it is. But uh, I just really wanted to get this video out here so that uh, people, you know, in case people wanted to know my picks. Um, I think that this is, and uh, before I salute Sunday Tank, before I get started, man, you know, make sure, make sure y'all go to the website, man. Go to the website and check out that usual suspect apparel. These are the A train uptowns right here, you know what I mean? Um, And there we go with the matching hoodie. There we go with the matching hoodie. You know what I mean? So make sure y'all make it over uh, to the usual suspects apparel. Oh. Uh, and um, salute Jeff, the producer. And uh, with that being said, let's get into the reason why I made this video in the first place. Uh, appreciate that, son of Tank. He said, looking nice. Jeff, the producer, says, salute, fam. Uh, yeah, man. Um, hold on. Let me let me solo this cover real quick. I'm so proud of myself. I did a good job on this one. Uh, Y'all see Chocolate Tito in the white, like the old pimp in the back. You know what I'm saying? And then you see Yo Cesar Martinez. You see him posted by the purple Cadillac, ain't worried about shit. So um, this is definitely going to be a 50-50 fight. Um, I could see either one of these dudes winning it. I could see either one of these dudes winning it. Um, let's take a trip in the... Uh, LDBC time machine. Um, who should we go to first? You know what? Chocolatito is the eldest. So it'll only be right. Let's go to Chocolatito. Walk with me, y'all. We're going to go off of the last two fights. Let's go over the last two fights. Because a lot of people are picking Chocolatito. Okay, Israel Gonzalez, I remember that. I forgot whose undercard that was on. Uh, that was a 12-rounder, which Chocolatito won. But I noticed Chocolatito got that curse. Chocolatito got that curse to where all the fights, I call it the bottle jack curse, to where every fight that you win is always close. It's always close. 
even if y'all feel like Chocolatito, when you can't say that he dominated, he's just doing one style, throwing a barrage of punches. And to be honest with you, the Israel Gonzalez dude, when he was landing in between the shots, it seemed like his punches had more effect than Chocolatito's had. Now, he was a big super fly. He was a big super fly guy, uh, Israel uh, Gonzalez. But still, a lot of wear and tear. It's always a grueling fight with Chocolatito. I'm really worried about my bro. Like, on some joint, when we get older and leave boxing, it's going to be like, you know what I mean? He can't even have a conversation with us. Those type of fights. And that was October 23rd, uh, 2020. Okay. Then March. Damn. And then wait. So then he didn't fight. Uh, yeah, yeah. A couple. Yeah. Then he fought March 2021. March 13th um, against uh, Juan Cisco Estrada, uh, Juan Francisco Estrada. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in another very close, uh, tough, contested fight, uh, Chocolatito, that was a rematch. Chocolatito won the first fight. Um, that was for the WBA and the WBC title. Uh, which Juan uh, Francisco Estrada uh, uh, won. I believe they were supposed to have a rematch and Juan Francisco Estrada caught COVID. Um, so I'm actually kind of happy that I hate to say it, that that kind of happened because with Julio Cesar Martinez, he's actually moving up. Not that many pounds from flyweight to super fly. And I don't, I, and that, and in his last fight, and who we're about to compare, uh, uh, um, he didn't work with Eddie Reynoso in the last one. So I wonder what's going on with that. He also wasn't wearing the no box and no life gloves no more. He went back to the old school Clito Reigns. So I was just wondering what was going on. But, uh, Let's go to Julio Cesar Martinez. Let's compare his. Last two fights. Uh, Yoel uh, Cordova. <clears throat> and this was June 26, 2021. And he... Um, he had the WBC flyweight title at the time. Uh, he ret retained that, had a little bit of resistance, uh, and uh, Cordova, you know, he, he had he had some pop. He had some pop, and uh, Julio Cesar Martinez, he was able to deal with, you know, and weather the storm. Uh, I'm gonna say it in my uh, KG voice. He got a lot of daggone grit to me. Uh, uh, Julio Cesar Martinez um, a lot and he's a big puncher for somebody that's 5'2 that, that's another thing that I ain't even bring up about him he got one punch knockout power and he's only 5'2 bro and the reason why I know that the dudes the last two fights that I just was naming this one yo that he was really hurt Now let's fast forward for this, not even that many months apart, November 19th, 2021. I like I like this. See, this is exactly why I I'm picking who I'm going to pick in the fight. Mac Williams Arroyo, uh, my Puerto Rican brother. Uh uh, this was a no contest. I remember uh uh the referee ruled it a headbutt, they had to stop it in the third round. He couldn't see out of his eye. I, I think he was getting ready to get knocked out. Uh, uh, salute to Mac Williams Arroyo. He's He was kind of big for a flyweight. To me, he looked like a natural super fly. He had a lot of pop in them damn gloves. He knocked uh, 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 Julio Cesar Martinez down in the first round. 
And then in that same round, maybe towards the end of that round, Julio Cesar Martinez knocks him down and he's like on the floor grimacing. That's how I knew that he was like a really hard puncher. Like, because like the way he got up opposed to how Julio Cesar Martinez, when he got knocked down and got up, he got right back up, Julio Cesar Martinez. And that was the first time he ever had been down. And Matt Williams Arroyo, man, he was hurting. He was getting ready to get up out of there again, but it was, uh, and then he also got knocked down again. So, uh, like I said, man, um, uh, my fault. Uh, who else came in to put in on them heavyweights, bro? The ish. Yeah, salute. Uh, he said the cover's dope. Uh, salute. P PGH Big Dog. Salute, bro. So with all of that information that I gave y'all, I still have to remember that uh, Julio uh, Cesar uh, Martinez is still moving up. Not really that much of a difference from 112 to 115. Yeah, 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 yeah. Salute to my brother, uh, Cadillac Red. Yeah, Red, the only reason I, I kind of had to because I didn't know if y'all picked this fight. And remember, I was out at a dinner yesterday with my peoples. So I kind of, I had to do this. And then I didn't see nobody on, so. I kind of had to do this to get my pickums out of the way. And honestly, this is a good fight because I could see if everybody didn't pick the same, some people being right and some people being wrong in this one because this is a 50-50 fight. This is definitely worth uh, main event pickums. You know what I mean? Um, definitely because this is definitely one of the ones you could get wrong depending on how the wind blow. All right. He said we did, though. Okay, yeah, so that's why I'm doing this. Exactly why I'm doing this. So, uh, with that being said, um, I gotta go. I gotta go with Julio uh, Caesar Martinez. I'm going with Julio Caesar Martinez. Oh, uh, shoot! Uh, the the kid got popped. I ain't going for, I never seen a 5'2 dude that could really, like, like a dwarf that could really punch like that. You know, um, and, and he really be hurting dudes. And like I said, before the no contest, he got Cordova out of there. And Cordova was a big flyweight. He looked like, like I said, like both of the last dudes that he fought were big. Mac, uh, Mac Arroyo. Uh, Mac Williams Arroyo, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I got to go with – I got to go with the purple pin. I got to go with my boy Julio Cesar uh, Martinez. I got to I gotta go with him. I think Chocolate Tito been in a lot of wars. Uh, I respect Chocolate Tito. I could be wrong. Chocolate Tito – being that he been at that weight class and he been acclimated to the weight. Like I said, even though it's a couple pounds and it do mean something, it's like a good three pounds from 112 to 115. I don't think it'll mean much because most of the dudes that Julio Cesar uh, Martinez fight, they they look like super flies anyway. They, the last two was like Chocolatito's height and size. And he's still floored Got floored too. Got right back up. Nevertheless, uh, now I know what y'all saying. Y'all like, yeah, but he went down in his last fight and all of that. True, he got back up and knocked him down. So that shows me that he got another gear and a lot of daggone grit. In the words, like I said, of my man KG. Uh, another thing too. I just gave y'all the dates on which they fought. It's about to be damn near a year. Since what's the name for? What's the name and only uh, uh, since <clears throat> since Chocolatito fought? What's the name mean? Like, he, his fight span ain't, ain't been that bad, uh, Julio Cesar Martinez. He actually kind of pretty goddamn active, if you ask me. 
his activity actually ain't too bad. His activity ain't too bad. And he fought more recently of the two. And I've been seeing that with a lot of these fights lately. Uh, that been meaning a lot. Oh, he, he missed weight? Okay. Okay. When the last... Now, let me tell y'all something. How many times have we seen somebody miss weight and kick ass? There's somebody recently that just missed weight and, and whooped some ass. Oh, Montana Love. And what he do to uh, Ivan Baranche? It's somebody else too, though. Probably even more recent than that that I can't think of. That's why I don't really go off of that missing weight stuff like that. Again, in, in other words, of my man KG, they got some goddamn mad scientists. <laughs> it, it real talk. They got so you know that make them know how much amount of food and liquid and water that shit is real talk to put in their body in. And it's just like they never even had to lose the weight. So I don't, I'm not going to take too much of that. Uh, oh, that, that that's who I'm thinking about. Uh, what's the name? Um, uh, Jaime Mungia. Jaime Mungia j just missed weight. Everybody was making a big deal. I was, that's how I was thinking. I was like, it was somebody recently. And people was making a big deal, making a whole big deal about it. And what happened? Shoot, I didn't even pick. I picked way too late. Jaime Munguia stopped him way too early. I was like, damn, bro. So, so, so we not going, we not going to go off of, we are too intelligent of boxing fans to assume and go off of preconceived notions. You know what I mean? Especially what we've been seeing recently. I'm going with Julio Cesar Martinez. Let me let me single out the pick again. Remember the white pimp? That's Chocolate Tito. The purple pimp, Julio Cesar Martinez. You know what I'm saying? So I got the purple pin and the purple Cadillac. I'm going with him, the young boy. Uh, 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 I think I think I I just think that Chocolatito he been in a lot of wars, man. Not saying that he's he he can't win because I think this is definitely gonna be a winnable fight, and I think it's a good fight. That's why I like it because it's 50 50. But I really feel like in my heart, in my mind. He a little bit, he been in too many wars, man. Like I'm telling you, when we like a few years from now, when we older, I wouldn't be surprised, God forbid, but I wouldn't be surprised because of Chocolatito style. Like, like, I don't know, man. Like, um, salute to my brother 503 Lions. Salute, salute, champ. Salute. Uh, Mark Wonderlich, salute. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this fight ain't for no fucking belt. Because what's the name is moving up? So he relinquishes WBC belt, Julio Cesar Martinez. And Chocolatito lost to Estrada. So is this going to be a 10-rounder? Or is it going to be like a title eliminator? La La D. Hey, stranger. What's going on, queen? And uh yeah, man, this is um 
Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You, you, you got you got chocolate Tito, do you? I mean, like I said, it's a 50-50 fight, so you're not gonna hear me being like, oh, you out of your mind, you bugging. Well, both of their styles playing in my head, but I literally watched both of their last two fights. And from what I seen, shit, shit, shit Steels talk about Pop Chris. Shit. Julio Cesar Martinez is a midget. His pop, he got he got definitely got some Chris. Chris Pop behind them punches. For real. For real. For real, bro. That little dude got power, bro. And he keeps switching. And he's comfortable switching. I'm like, yo. But uh, my only question with this fight is, what happened with um, with Eddie Reynoso in him? What happened with, like, you know, with that? Because... Like I said in the McWilliams Arroyo fight, he, he, Eddie Reynoso wasn't in the corner no more. So yeah, that 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 led me to thinking a lot of things. But uh, we got a long time until uh, this fight happened tonight. The fight ain't happening until about like. Nine o'clock. I want to say start. I wonder when the before the bell. So I'm gonna assume the before the bell card is probably gonna start maybe seven. It ain't nobody on this undercard, obviously, because I don't see none of my brothers in the comment section. So the undercard must be. I mean, he, he he said, get ready for that crow. Oh, so that means you got chocolate Tito too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you if you say so, 503. If you say so. If you say so. Because the last time. I switched my pick, and I didn't pick the younger, more active dude. Guess what happened? I had to live and die with the squad. And I ain't living and dying with the squad this time. I'm picking the younger, more active fighter, and y'all are going to be wrong. So somebody always calling me, man, while I'm doing a lot. My bad. You know how real it is, 503? I don't even, if I'm right, I don't even want to come in the uh uh the morning show. Y'all got it. I just it's the proof of point. I don't even want to, I don't even want to come in that live stream, man. I just want to be in the cut. Like, look, last time we we went through this, and I was like, you know what? Let me go with the squad. They right. They right. I ended up having to eat crow when I didn't pick the younger. And the signs was all there. The signs is all here, and I'm giving it to y'all. Cool, cool. If y'all want to go with Chocolatito, cause y'all all got a little love for it, feel bad for Chocolatito because what well, I felt like at no everybody used to hate Chocolatito, right? When HBO was hyping him and stuff like that. Let me talk. Let me talk real quick. Then when Chocolatito got scoped, literally, when I think of fighters getting scoped, that rumbus I fight, Jesus. Jesus, I didn't think little dudes could crack like that. The 115, 112 dudes. I got to stay at 120s and 130s, you know what I mean? But damn. Bro, went home to Thailand. They said that he ate his favorite dish when he after he knocked chocolate tito out a fried rat real talk i'm not making this up like he literally had a picture with the fried rat rumbus 
So he is knockout prone. See, Julio Cesar Martinez, the reason I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, and like I said, I could be wrong, but the reason I'm going to give him, because he's been down, but he ain't been scoped out. I don't give a damn. Y'all Y'all could ar I argue with y'all to hell and back about that. Chocolate Tito, man. And I ain't even going to lie. I remember that knockout because I remember – when I was working at the carousel, 503, remember, I, I would that was one of the knockouts I would keep running back that year that that happened. Because, like, the way he caught him, like, at the shot, I remember that. Chocolatito just, like, he was really hurt. And I never, and before that, none of us had ever seen Chocolatito. You know what I mean? Like, like he was always the guy that could take a million punches and, and keep throwing a million back and shit like that. But, yeah, that, that, that one was crazy. That was crazy right there. Who who there's a, there's another fight? Who, who else fighting? Cause I, I know I know we we probably only picking the main event because I'm sure that they ain't no title fights on these, any title fights on these. Cause I know that means we only picking this one, but um. I definitely think that this is a good fight tonight. I'm actually looking forward to this fight. I'm looking forward to this fight because a lot of people feel bad for Chocolatito because of the Estrada loss, but I thought Estrada won. I thought Estrada outboxed him a little bit, but I could see I could have seen it being a draw. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't be mad at that. I definitely ain't think Chocolatito won, though. And then the fight before the Estrada fight, I told you. Okay, okay, thank you, Red. All right, all right, cool, cool. All right, he said we only beat, yeah, because this is the only one. Yeah, I know that there wasn't no title fights because I know y'all would have bought that up. I know y'all would have bought that up. That's why I was like, there's no, it can't be no title fights. All right, so yeah, we basically just got a main event for the pickums, y'all. We just got a main event for the pickums. Um, Like I said, I got Julio Cesar Martinez. I could be wrong, man. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Chocolatito could start doing, you know, what he always do. Start uh, uh, throwing a lot of punches. Start touching Start touching the guy gloves. Keep being friendly so the dude don't unleash on him like that. I hate Cho Chocolatito always do that. Chocolatito, oh, you can't front 503. He always doing that, wanting to touch gloves and being friendly and all that. Nah, then you just hit me with 126 punches in the round. No, Chocolatito, I don't want to touch your gloves, bro. Oh, Red, who you pick? Who'd you pick, Red? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Red, tell me who I am before I end this live. All right, I know 503 got Chocolatito. Red, you pick Martinez? You must have picked Martinez because you said Martinez got blonde hair. I'm kind of nervous. Red, what color hair did... uh? The other Mark, uh, 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 that other dude have that Argentinian cat have last week that beat, uh, dang man, so many damn fights last week. He's, uh, he said the real Julio season. Oh, okay, 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 Red. Red, I'm proud of you, Red. Red, I'm proud of you, Red. I'm proud of you, Red. <laughs> I'm real. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Red. I expected you to pick Chocolatito. 
I swear, I, I expected you. I'm, I'm really disappointed in 503. I'm really disappointed in 503. I thought he would have realized by now what was going on with Julio. He, he got popped for real. Little, little dude got popped in both hands. In both hands. He said a real Julio season. He crazy. Who, who, who did KG pick? KG probably picked Chocolate Tito. Let me not even ask. Let me not even ask. KG KG picked Chocolate Tito. I'm uh, I'm gonna go with what I know. I could picture KG right now. <laughs> he got he 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 got Chocolate Tito. Oh damn! I kind of want to know who Steele's got. I kind of want to know who Steele's got, man. Well, um, if any of the other usual suspect brothers is out there, man, if y'all can make a quick video for me, letting me know who y'all picked in this fight and for the other people out there that got content, uh, uh, I, I kind of want to know who people got in this fight because I feel like it, it's 50-50. Fit, it's Willie Old School, salute. I kind of want to know who people got in this fight. Because like I said, I already see it being kind of 50-50. I already see uh, La La D and 503. We got um, Chocolate Tito. And me and Red got Julio Cesar Martinez. But, um, man... LVZ. LVZ was good, champ. So, um, I believe that's all we got coming up. Um, real quick. Oh, um, I just wanted to uh, bring up, you know, because I haven't even talked about it on my platform. Is He said, is this the Latino version of Rumble in the Jungle? That's a good question. I, I tell you what, LVZ, I know, I know I gave you the Latino version of Superfly. There you go right there. You see the cover. See the cover. See. Um. To be honest with you, this fight it should be for a title though, LVZ, because it really is 50-50. It should be for a title, but ain't no ain't like I said, one of them just moved up, and the other one unified and lost, so it ain't for a belt. Uh, and let me point out one thing that, you know, because I, I, I went into my spill that I'm thinking of too. For Julio Cesar Martinez, y'all got to give him credit. I'm going to tell y'all why y'all got to give him credit. One, he's moving up. Two, look who he's fighting when he's moving up. Look who he's he's fighting somebody that's like 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 really a, 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 a that was just a champion and like is still at contingency. So we got to give Julio Cesar Martinez a lot of credit, yo. You know what I mean? He literally stepped right into a burning building, if you ask me. So that already tells me right there him moving up and taking this type of fight. I gotta go with him. Even if I did, even if I wanted to change my pick, I'm not going to change it because of that. He really is moving like the new pimp, you know. What I mean, on the block that just that just done took everything over, and the older dude don't know what to do with himself. That's how I feel, bro. He said, "I've been." He, LVZ, LVZ, don't do that, LVZ. He said, I'm sorry, I barely watch fighters who weigh less than my girlfriends. Laugh out loud, but I do know 
Roman Gonzalez. Of course you know who Roman Gonzalez is because they hyped him up for so many damn years on HBO. That was one of the falls of HBO. LVZ a fool. <laughs> but uh yeah, this 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 what a good one. Who who you got in the fight, LVZ? You you got Chocolatito? Cause I know even though you say you don't really watch him, I could tell uh 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 you probably pick and choose uh uh the small guys or uh probably depending probably if it's a high caliber fight, that's when you probably tune in, which this is definitely a good high caliber fight. Uh, salute Tay Tay Brown. So yeah, uh, uh, salute. She said, "Hey, I work listening." Salute Tay Tay. Appreciate you. Yeah, I wasn't even supposed to be on this long. I went to a whole, a whole nother spill. But uh, let me um just say, you know, about to uh, get ready to wrap this up. Uh, uh, salute to Earl and uh, Ugas. Um, they had the press conference. Uh, I think uh, both dudes looked it ready. They both looked at uh, locked in. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing um, what co what's coming up in the training videos in the next coming weeks. Uh, what it's looking like. Um, my thing is this, like I said before, uh, I, I I'm a little worried about you guys. Who guys too happy for me? Like I said, I'm one of them people that agree with that. A happy fighter, a dangerous fighter, man. I just don't like how happy he is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he he might come in there over focus. I still know Earl uh is gonna do what he needs to do to get it done. You know, I know the how the big fish give it up. Oh, uh, like I said, I'm looking forward in the next couple of weeks. And then, of course, the final press conference uh, so that I can give my final prediction and final breakdown. Um, with that being said, I'm going to get ready to end this one. Thank you for everybody that came through in the chat. Uh, uh, salute to all my brothers. Uh, that uh, came through in the chat and was listening. And um, yeah, this was my uh, quick pickums. I just wanted my brothers to know who I had uh, for the fight uh, uh, tonight. And uh, yeah, man, um, with that being said, uh, it's your boy, Act Reach It. I never steer you wrong, and I'm out.